Hello everyone, I'm Bob Chapek, CEO of the Walt Disney Company, and it's my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2021 Disney Accelerator Demo Day. For nearly a century, our company has been entertaining audiences through unparalleled storytelling and immersive experiences, which have been continuously enhanced by our constant pursuit of innovation and the application of cutting edge technology. It's always been very important to us, as Walt said, to keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity leads us down new paths. This constant drive to pursue new ideas is why we launched the Disney Accelerator program. Our goal is to empower growing companies who are creating new concepts for groundbreaking products and services, recognizing that they have the potential not only to change the media landscape, but to change our world. You will meet the eight teams that are participating in this year's program. They are true innovators in key areas ranging from robotics and frontier tech to e-commerce and artificial intelligence. What you will see here is truly incredible. And with that, I hope you enjoy the show. Store. Camp's a family experience company. We build really fun, immersive environments that help families have fun together outside of their homes. We designed this store to kind of look like it's been here for 100 years. It's kind of an old, cozy, general store vibe. Toys, gifts, apparel, kind of something for everyone. Kids love running into the store and opening these drawers here. These little hidden moments that make even a boutique-y style store in the front uh, feel really fun. The secret is the magic door. I'm really excited about their creativity at camp. It's not just the kids having fun. The entire family is jumping and climbing. You're constantly reinventing your business. So you're looking at ways to really keep the consumer engaged. People now are not going to physical locations as frequently. They're going on digital platforms. And if you are going to go to a physical location, it needs to be something really unique and special to draw you in. The typical retail model has been the same forever. Our philosophy is that you can't just change the products, you have to change the story, you have to change the environment. The back of camp behind the magic door changes and rotates every four months or so, telling a completely new story. So we really get to use the store really as a theater, and these theaters need to tell really compelling stories to keep customers coming back. And no one has better stories than the Walt Disney Company. Thanks to Stephanie and her team, we're launching Disney branded experiences at camp. Consumers want change. They want to see different ways that they can get excited about our stories and characters. One of the areas we're focused on, Ben, is always making sure even our franchises like Toy Story or Cars are fresh on consumers' minds, making them feel immersed and excited about stories that Disney creates. I grew up with Toy Story and being able to bring my kids into the world that I thought was the most magical thing is so special for the parents. Our Accelerator program gives us a really great opportunity to really bring two different companies with unique skill sets together. Companies can come in with really innovative thinking, and in many cases, technology and innovative ideas that it would take us years to produce. The output of our work is family joy. We keep count of how many kids are crying on the way out. Crying on the way out means we did our job. The family wants to stay, and the kids need to be evacuated. We have got a great family experience with a very similar set of values and also just the innovation that the co-founders of camp can bring to us. The accelerator for us was a beginning. We're just excited to bring camps to more locations across the country. Thanks for coming to camp. See you again soon. I'm Mariam Guramani, CEO of a leading live video shopping solution, Bamboozer. Here's the deal, it's super easy. This is like, this has never been easier to shop. We're inviting the fans to actually have a dialogue with, with the brand. You can see in real time what types of questions the consumer are asking. Are you getting a lot of likes? Or are people liking the content that you're doing? Hi, Sarah, she actually had exactly that question. I think the accelerator 
program and structure really allows us to continue to get smarter. Bamboozer was phenomenal at working side by side with us, understanding what we were trying to do, the importance of our brands, the importance of our content and our stories, how to make sure the quality was going to be there, and then provide us the tools to actually bring it to life. This outfit is amazing. I am really proud of my amazing team and the achievements that we reached so far, but I'm also very proud and, and, and thankful to work with amazing brands around the world. Hi. We started to discuss possible activations together with the Disney Parks team, and then we got introduced to the amazing Accelerator team. We have done two very exciting live shows with Disney Parks. One was the premiere of the Cruella. Black and white with a pop of red, so Cruella. I love seeing, you know, like a company like Disney where storytelling is in the heart of the company, right? You've been doing this for a hundred years and you're the best in the world to do it. Makes you guys even more, you know, lovable and, and, and more magic uh, from a customer point of view. The second live show we did was with Merch Monday on Shop Disney, where we had two influencers going through the collection and where you could see amazing interactivity and engagement from the Disney fans. This is a place now you can ask questions. Say, hey, what do you see inside that bag? Or can we sh turn that t-shirt around? How does it fit? How does it feel? Live commerce is really proving out this shift that we've been seeing coming. Looking at e-commerce and, and how static it has been for so long time, right? It's just mm -hmm. been a static HTML page with a picture and a text and a buy button. And now you actually bring everything to life and you bring that experience much more to an offline experience. This has really helped us move so much further down that path of what you might experience when you walk through the gate of our, our theme parks. So even from your home, you can be a part of those stories and you can feel closer to those stories. Right, because you're giving really that authentic and transparent dialogue with your consumers in, in a new way that hasn't been done before. It's very early stage. We've seen so little of, you know, what you could do with this channel. And, and you know, we are amazed by our customers and how they're using it and, and using it in new ways. The best part about live shopping events is that you can showcase and sell anything you want. And for that purpose, with me, I have Miko, our multilingual companion robot. Isn't he cute? Thank you for being with us today. And uh, Miko says thank you as well. Let's be friends. I love you, Nico. I love you too. No matter where you live and how old you are, Miko has something on the platform for you. Four times six is 24. Miko is a playful learning robot that engages, educates, and entertains kids. Hey, Miko, do you like pizza? Hello, Miko. Is Mumbai the largest city in India? The more a child speaks to it, it understands their areas of interest and initiates new conversations on their topics of interest. Correct, Amunda. We are practically imagining the future. And we believed uh, when, we, when we saw Miko that there was the potential to introduce a very novel element in the experience of watching sports. Hi, Krika. I am happy to meet you guys. Are you excited about the match tonight? It's an AI-enabled robotic statistician who supports our experts in telling the most compelling stories possible. At the Star Sports team, we've been fortunate to work with Mr. Sanjog Gupta, uh, the CEO of Star Sports India, and his entire innovation team on how we can bring together robotics and artificial intelligence and integrate it and create a new viewing experience to the 600 million viewers of IPL. Hey Miko, good morning. Good morning, Snake. I'm getting bored now. Can you play a song for me? We started engaging with Sne and the rest of the team much before we actually introduced them to, to the accelerator. That suddenly opens a whole new world uh, for Miko. The sheer joy that a kid has when, when there is anything that comes from Disney is, is clearly evident. We would like to thank Disney Publishing Worldwide team. We are super excited that we are in talks to bring Disney video books to Miko 3. Today, Miko 3 can also connect to a smart TV. Miko could also emote based on the content that is coming on the smart TV. Potentially, even any content that is coming on Disney Plus or Hotstar. A dream is a wish your heart makes. All eyes are effectively on, on Miko, right, for yes. the first time. It's been almost 
more than 18 plus months of efforts that has gone into it and yeah. finally we are super excited that this is the d day is coming in the next few days yeah. so the whole team is gearing up for that and then of course the journey begins the, the, the real journey begins because that's when we'll start receiving consumer feedback as well absolutely it's a journey that all of us will undertake at some point or the other given that we have robotics in most parts of our lives the more complementary that relationship can be the better it is it's time to go to sleep now okay miko good night We've really become a, a mobile first culture. You have about half the world population that have a smartphone device. There's a big opportunity to power personalized communication experiences between brands and consumers. I was very excited about the potential to have a conversation with the undefeated through SMS. Did you do it like this by going to the mobile website and signing up using our patent pending two tap sign up technology? It was so easy. You know, it appears to me as being directly from the undefeated. You know, the consumer can very easily see it and interact with it just like they would, you know, one of their friends. It it creates that great two-way conversation. One of the first texts was like a text I get from a friend that said, "Hey, you know, what are your content preferences? Like what are the things you want to see?" You know, that's what we're striving to deliver is that level of personalization that just delights the consumer. Yeah, you know, look, the magic was I got video I'd never seen before, and there was a trailer that played like directly in my message stream. And I'm really curious about what I'm, what I'll see next um, in my feed, and, and pretty excited to think about the potential um, for Disney fans, you know, across our enterprise. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that there's a big opportunity. You know, I can see, for example, Disney theatrical group. uh um, being able to use this extensively in order to get people to sign up for for shows that might be happening near them. I also think things like uh ABC OTV um could use this in order to engage viewers uh in in real time. What attentive is doing and the channels through which it's doing it, it really just the beginning. I think it will go from communications to include also things like uh, being able to buy things via text message, customer service, um personalized client telling really being able to have everything happen within that text message i'm excited about a world where consumers will actually love the way that they communicate with businesses and brands i started this business with a very simple mission to help people have better conversations digitally in any applications that they use Today, Holler's in-house studio creates conversational content like stickers, gifts, and emoji to help people communicate effectively digitally. We currently serve over 70 million users, and our distribution is growing fast. What makes Holler really unique is that we built a contextual AI that is able to deliver people just the right content at the moment they need it. If you are typing, "Hey, let's grab drinks," we're able to understand that specific. context of that conversation and serve up highly relevant stickers and gift content that's perfect for your chat. It's been great working with you and your team over the last, you know, however, it's been almost a year. We ended up working with you guys on a um a campaign we did called Stories Continue for Disney Plus. Disney Plus tapped Holler for their Stories Continue campaign where we took Falcon and the Winter Soldier High School Musical and the Mighty Ducks into messaging and saw powerful results. Over seven million impressions and one hundred fifty thousand shares on that initiative alone. One of the things too, which is one of the key reasons why I've been excel- excited about the program, is working with you all push the creative as well. What initially caught my attention about Holler is it's a very creative company. And so to see them working in a medium that we were interested in but then on platforms that we hadn't completely figured out the best way to work with um seemed really interesting to us. The things that happen in culture make their way to conversations daily. We're so fortunate to have had so many cultural zeitgeist moments with Disney Plus. What you're talking about where people can have communication around that moment or something from that IP can represent something in their daily communication is it, it, that is ultimate goals as we continue our work with Disney via the accelerator program this is the type of innovation that comes to the messaging space overall 
Like with our latest product where people can discover extra content when Disney Plus stickers and gifts are shared from our new Holler app. That will be used to help celebrate Disney Plus Day. The best way to deliver messages to consumers uh, is to innovate and to do them really uniquely, um, but also to do them um, you know, on new platforms and, and in ways that feel authentic to, to those consumers on those platforms. It's really cool to see all the things that we as a team have been able to accomplish, and our work has just started. Hi, I'm David Rudolph, CEO of Play on Sports. As both a business owner and sports enthusiast, I know the value of a cheering section. So I brought some of the best from Play On to tell you a little bit about the company. Let's go! He's David Rudolph. He's super excited to be here. Play On Sports is awesome. Yes, it's awesome. We're a streaming company and a market leader in high school sports. And by market leader, what he actually means is the number one high school sports streaming company. It's Play On Sports! Let's go! Play On Sports! Woo! Okay, I think I can take this over from here. I like to use the analogy, we're the ESPN Plus for high school sports. About 15 years ago, there was a Georgia Tech at UNC college football game that wasn't on TV, and it annoyed me that I couldn't watch it. So we started a project to try to figure out how to produce and distribute untelevised live sports. And then about 10 years ago, we migrated to working exclusively on high school. This school year, plan will stream over a million live events. By the end of the year, we'll be in over 10,000 high schools, which is about half of the high schools in the U.S. Our ultimate goal is we want to stream every single high school sporting event, regardless of level, regardless of the size of school, and regardless of sport. We were introduced to the Disney Accelerator program from our friends at ESPN. We've been so impressed with the leadership team. We've been so impressed with the product for, for several years here. We're excited to build a deeper relationship with them via the Disney Accelerator. The access that companies like us have to Disney is unparalleled. Nothing says live sports and highest quality more than ESPN. I mean, there's, there's not even a close second in terms of a brand when it comes to sports. So for us to have the opportunity to associate some high school content with ESPN, that just raises the overall level of high school sports across the board. Nothing replaces being there in person, and we're not a substitute for that, but when you can't be there, being able to watch the games makes a huge difference. We are in discussion with Play On Sports to stream a series of iconic high school events on ESPN+. ABC-owned television stations across the country are in preliminary discussions with Play On Sports to stream a local game of the week on their digital and connected TV platforms, as well as to air highlights of local games on their linear channels. Play On's leadership in the direct-to-consumer space makes them a pretty compelling partner for ESPN. To learn as much as possible, to get exposure to this type of entrepreneurial energy, it's great for them, but it's also great for the Walt Disney Company. Let's go, baby! Play On Sports! Woo! We're going to Disneyland! We're here today at Disneyland Park with Kieran Singha, CEO and founder of Illumix. At Illumix, we're moving from storytelling to story experiencing. We're a new brand of augmented reality that maintains the highest level of accuracy in integrating the digital and the physical in the spaces around us. We bring augmented reality to actual reality. And what better place to experiment than the most magical place on Earth? Illumix's AR is aware, interactive, and seamlessly integrated into the environment. We enable continuous experiences at world scale, from the ground all the way up to the sky, merging digital content with the real world in real time. That's pretty amazing. So this is happening all in real time on a regular phone with no post-processing? Yeah, I think that's so important. The form factor of having something that is accessible, everyday hardware for consumers, where there's no setup for them, there's no effort required, but bam, they can just enter this magical world. That has to be the end experience, and we've been gunning towards that completely uncompromisingly for over four years. So you're saying that even though we're standing in different places with different perspectives, that we can just take out our phones and get an amazing AR experience? That's right. It's powerful, but lightweight. It's actually lightweight enough to fit into any existing app. With Illumix's augmented reality, guests can see what they've only ever imagined before. Let's see it in action. 
We can use AR to add a little extra magic and gameplay to the parks, making fantasy and reality one. Right now, our digital and real lives are so separated. You're either experiencing things in real life or you're stuck in your phone or on your computer. So if we could actually integrate those, to me, that's the ethos of technology. It should exist to further connect us with the people and things around us. And I think AR is kind of the ultimate encapsulation of that. If we do technology well, our guests don't actually notice it. We actually hide it and then I it becomes magical. absolutely agree. Good technology should always feel invisible and all you have is the experience and the content layer on top of it. That's kind of been our goal is to create an underlying engine where the digital and the physical are so perfectly melded that it's really like your imagination has come to life around you. This could have applications across the Walt Disney Company. Guests should look out for AR experiences coming to our parks in the future. You can see the inch by inch precision and stability that we're capable of here. Our tech enables AR that is precisely anchored to the real world, not just floating in front of our phones. With AR, personalization for guests means it's never the same park twice. Illumix takes just imagine to just experience. You're part of the story and there's magic all around. But is it more magical than a churro? Touche. Hi, I'm John Snoddy. I'm Senior Vice President for Technology and Innovation at Walt Disney Imagineering. We're here today to talk about innovation as part of the Disney Accelerator program. One company this year that really kind of blew me away is this company called Mojo Vision. This is the world's first augmented reality contact lens. I'm holding the future. I came up with the idea after I got cataracts in my own eyes and needed technology in my eye. I wasn't terribly happy with the technology that existed. It has image sensors that see the world and it can then process what it sees and enhance what it sees and reproject that to your eye. And our goal is to take the phone out of your hand. So you don't have to be focused on the phone, you can be focused on the activity. It'll give you all the information that you want at any time. For example, check out the virtual teleprompter app that we created for ABC News and, and Star India. I think anyone who works in broadcast sees the amazing potential of how we might be able to use the Mojo Lens to revolutionize the way we deliver live news and sports. This is about the future of information and how we deliver it, from the studio, to the field, to the arena. This is science fiction come to life. Product with huge potential to improve the lives of a great many people. Disney's all about uh, building worlds. As you look around, it's seamless. Everywhere you look, the, the, your vision is, is seeing a, a complete story. Technologies like this really do take that one step further. Oh my, wow. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's amazing, that, that ability to kind of have images sort of connect to the world they're in, that's pretty crazy. We really have turned science fiction into science fact. <laughs> the fun thing about building tech for Disney is that you get to see the audience really connecting with it. It takes quite a lot of tech just to keep this place alive, but also to, to make it seamless, make it, you know, make the tech invisible. It's really cool to see this kind of technology, to hold it in my hands, and I know that uh, we wouldn't be able to do that without the Accelerator program. That early connection that allows us to see, even before you've built anything, to hear your vision and, and for us to interact with you and, and to talk about that. We're working with partners like Disney to allow them to customize that to their needs and, and build upon what we build as a platform. I just can't wait for you all to get this thing finished and into the eyes of all these people around us. I mean, it's exciting just to imagine the possibilities. Hi everyone, I'm Christine McCarthy, Senior Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer at the Walt Disney Company. What an amazing group of entrepreneurs we've seen here today. I'd like to thank each of our presenters for that inspiring glimpse into the future of media and entertainment, as well as the Disney executive team for their guidance and support throughout the entire Disney Accelerator program. To echo Bob, it has always been important for us as a company to keep moving forward, and our Accelerator program is a huge part of that determination to not simply strive for the future, but to shape it. That's especially exciting, not to mention critically important in these dynamic times we are living in. Now more than ever, 
it's crucial that we are connected with the next generation of diverse innovators who are defining the landscape. They help us to think differently and challenge us to move from what is to what if. We couldn't be happier that our relationships with these companies will extend well beyond today as they are now part of the Disney family. Now, I'd like to introduce David Min, Disney's Vice President of Innovation. Thank you, Christine. I'm David Min, Vice President of Innovation for the Walt Disney Company. Since 2014, I've had the privilege of working with every startup that's participated in the Disney Accelerator Program. And this year's class is one of the most exciting. They have cutting edge technology and provide tremendous opportunity for creating new consumer experiences. Now, before we go, I'd like to recognize some of the individuals that made all this happen. Sean Corrigan, Bonnie Rosen, Alif Kalfin, Kirsten Underwood, Sylvia Pizarro, and the entire Disney Accelerator team. I'd also like to thank Bob, Christine, and senior leadership for all their support and the time and energy that they and their teams have invested in what we do here. For all of you watching from around the world, thank you for looking into the future with us today. We'll see you next year, hopefully from the main theater in 2022.